Y'all like this one? I think y'all gonna like this one. D tackles. Now don't get me wrong. I play all positions on the defense. On defense side of the ball. Play D line. You know, D N, whatever, D tackle, nose guard. Damn, Let's go back to this. Right here. Nose guard. I played everything. Safety corner. Now now. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of players that's disrespecting on this on this top ten list right here. That's leaked the Madden twenty three list, and it will be changed. It should be changed. Now shout out to Madden leaks, Madden twenty three leaks. A lot of people saying that it's fake. A lot of people saying it's real. I don't know. Got it from Twitter, you know. Um. But let's get into it, bro. Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, KLR, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, we are back here again with another reaction, man. First off, I'm going to say, man, this is the top 10 D-tackles, man. That's leaked. All the other D-tackles, um, he did not post those, bro. You know, if you guys have a Twitter as well, man, you know, leave me a follow. K-Swag reacts. And you can also look up Madden Twenty Three Leaks, man. That's his um, his his Twitter name, man. And he been just you know leaking everything and stuff like that. Um, these are the, the you know the top ten D tackles. So now we are gonna start with Aaron Donald first, bro. Cause Aaron Donald is a dog. Aaron Donald deserve every every ability, every every X every X factor in the game, bro. Um, I can't wait to get, get uh, to be honest, I can't wait to get Madden 23, bro. And I'm going to tell you this why. I'm going to tell you this. First off, with my Patriots, bro, to go crazy with my Patriots at the end of the day. Um, I do have a special, uh, special video for you guys, man. I got a special package that came in, man. You know, I'm going to do a video like, uh, I'm going to do a, a vlog and show you guys what I got, you know. But, get, get back into the video. Aaron Donald deserve everything. Every ability and everything like that, bro. He deserved two damn X factors, bro. The way he played, bro, is unbelievable. Ninety nine, perfect. The ninety nine, straight perfect. Um, you know, keep it like that. He deserves to be. It should be a hundred, a, a hundred club. <laughs> With Aaron Donald and how he played, it's, it's ridiculous, bro. He's the best defensive player in in the in the whole entire NFL. <laughs> now. You got Casey Hayworth. He got an X factor, and he's a 95 overall. I'm not tripping about it too much. He's a baller. He's a baller at the end of the day, you know. Um, he deserves everything, you know, the X factor. So, you know, he probably got some superstar abilities as well. 95 overall. I'm not tripping too much about a 95 overall with him. I think it's pretty nice, you know, 95 overall, um, Casey Hayworth. Chris Jones, I think Chris Jones should be at least a um, a ninety five also, but they give him a ninety four with an X factor, so I ain't gonna trip too much about it. That he still got an X factor, and he's still gonna ball, you know, Madden or whatever like that. But I think you know he does his thing on um, as a D tackle. Now, um, X factor is perfect, and with other abilities that he will have, I think it's perfect as hell. You know, that's a damn D tackle. He do a lot. D, I, to be honest, I I don't know what's harder, corners or D tackles, but bro, D tackle is hard, but you gotta go against a bunch of big ass linemen, bro, just to get a sack or whatever, bro. Now I'm gonna ask you guys this. I'm gonna ask you guys this. Is it harder to get a sack or is it harder to get a pick? Y'all go crazy in the comments, bro. Um about that. You know, is it harder to get a sack or is it harder to get a pick? Now, we're going to get to Bia Bea. This, oh my God, this big ass dude, bro. Big Samoan ass. Bro, 
This dude's so damn big, bro. Via Vea, bro. He is huge, bro. He's a dog as well. He deserves at least a 94. A 94 or 95 X. Well, you know, he already got the X fight. I think he, I, I think his, his rating is a little too low. I think he should be a 95 with Casey Hayward at the end of the day. You know? Um, but they gave him a 93. He still got an X fight there. So, I mean, it's not too bad. But I think he he, he deserves a 95, bro, um, with an X factor. Now, you got DeForest Buckner. Bro. You got Buckner, man. Buckner is like that. They try him with the overall. The overall should be at least a 95 also, bro. DeForest Buckner is disgusting, bro. And that, don't get me wrong, that coach defense is like that, bro. The coach defense gave us some problems um, when we played them, bro. You know, when my pitchers played the coach, bro, they gave us some problems, bro. I mean, I ain't going to trip. I think they did beat us, too. I think they did beat us, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Now, 92, I feel like it should be a 95, but it is what it is. You know, uh, Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox. 89. Now, I don't watch Fletcher Cox's game like that. I don't know too much about him, but I know when I play with those Eagles and play with Jalen Hurts, he still be doing his thing. Now, I think last year he was like a 91, 92. They probably brought him down because he probably haven't really haven't been doing that much. So, I think, you know, his readiness should stay there. Stay there. At an 89. I ain't tripping. Ain't no hate or nothing. 89 is perfect for him. Um, yeah. You know, with the superstar, you know, development abilities. Now, you got Jonathan Allen. Jonathan Allen, um, I don't know too much about his game either, but I know he's still a dog. I watched some of his film. Um, he's a pretty good player. He's an 88. I feel like 88 is pretty straight with me. Um... He's a big name, but not too much of a big name at the end of the day. Um, he's still a dog, but I think an 88 with a superstar development, superstar abilities or whatever like that, I feel like that's straight. Um, that, do you know that they got him at an 88? Now, they got a dude for the Tennessee Titans, man. The dude Sims, man. They got him at what, a, a, a 89? Yeah, he's an 89? That's weird. Hey, I guess he liked that. I don't know too much about him. I I know he's a run stopper, but I don't know about his pass rush or whatever like that. But he's a run stopper at the end of the day. I 89, I guess I'm straight with that too. I'm not tripping too much about that. I feel like they left out some players, bro. That's probably better than these some of these dudes. But now they got Kenny Clark. They tried Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark should at least be like a 93. Kenny Clark has always been a high overall player with the Packers. Kenny Clark, uh, playing at D tackle, basically nose guard. He always been high, so I don't know why they got him at a what was it, an eighty eight? Now I feel like he should be like a ninety three. Um, but hey, man, I feel like they disrespected him at the end of the day. But it is what it is. Kenny Clark is like that though. Um, will he snap this year? Hey, if he snapped this year or whatever like that, they are gonna boost him up. But for right now, I guess they are gonna keep him at an eighty eight. That's tough. So now they got um Calais. Campbell, last but not least. I'm not going to lie, Calais Campbell, they tried him. Calais Campbell was like a 93 last year. I think a 94. I could be wrong. You guys can check the rating on Madden. I think he's. I think he was like a 93. Calais Campbell is like that. Calais Campbell should be a 93. What, you, you think you gave this man a 96? What is wrong with y'all, bro? You gave him a 96. His big 6'8 ass a 96? At least a 92. He better than Kenny Clark. He better than Sims. He better than Jonathan Allen. I mean, Jonathan Allen just a little faster. He better than Cox, fat ass. You gave this man an 86. You gave him the lowest rating. I don't know why. I guess he probably got hurt or whatever. But at the end of the day, you guys, hey, he, he, they tried him. Campbell is like that. And then y'all Ravens fans, y'all know. Y'all know I'm right. Y'all know I'm right. Kind of pissed me off a little bit, bro. They tried Khalil's Campbell. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, don't get me wrong. These ratings probably might not be official. They could be unofficial or whatever like that, but if they are official, that's terrible. Um, but look, man, you guys let me know down below in the comments, man, what you guys think, bro. 
I feel like they tried Clayus Campbell big time, bro, and they tried DeForest Buckner and Vita Vea, you know, the big Samoan big man. Um, so let me know down below in the comments, man, what you guys think, bro. I thought I had to do the D tackles as well, man. I know it's not like, you know, cornerbacks and safeties and stuff like that, but I think you guys would enjoy the D tackles as well, the Madden 23 Elite D tackles. Let me know down below who's your favorite D tackle as well. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And did you ever play D tackle before?